video, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the basic kitchen knives that I think are really important to have. Uh, we're going to start here with the serrated knife. Um, this is great for cutting bread, some of those hearty, heartier vegetables, your butternut squash, your kombucha squash, things like that. Uh, next we're going to move on, this is your, uh, your slicer. So the slicer is really important. Um, the reason it's so long and thin is it's made for slicing. So you're going to use that whole entire blade. Start here in the back, slice all the way through that turkey, slice all the way through whatever it is. Use the whole entire length of the blade there. Next we've got the chef's knife. Um, you don't need one this big. I use one this big. I like to use the front for my detail work, uh, doing really nice fine dice. I like to use the middle for a little bit more of my onion cutting, um, chopping, stuff like that. And then if I've got to do something that's a little more heavy duty work, I like to use the back of it like this. Don't use the whole knife all at once. You're gonna dull the blade out and you're only gonna get a little bit of use out of it. Use different sections for each thing. It'll last you for days and days and days before you have to sharpen it again. This is a petty knife. Um, Almost all professional cooks and chefs keep one of these. This is great for cutting herbs, doing lots of detail work like this. Um, you don't have to put a lot of force on whatever you're cutting. So a petty knife, great for, great for you if you want to invest and get the whole kind of set, but you don't have to have one of these. This is my, this is my true baby though. I call this baby red. Um, I don't like to buy a straight edge paring knife. I like to have one with serrated edge. Um, it's really going to hold on to and grip whatever you're cutting. These aren't expensive. You can buy them anywhere on the internet. They will kind of hold on. They'll peel, help you peel any apple, help you peel any carrots for your kids, do anything um, really nice and easy. And if it gets dull, you just kind of throw it to the back of the drawer, go out and buy another one. These are a little more expensive to invest in. This doesn't cost anything. So have fun uh, looking and cutting up stuff, and I'll see y'all soon.